Welcome back to another episode of Cleaning and Battery Change with Retro Cartridges. We have a handful of them today. I'm go over them real quick. Uh, I might segment this out so it's not one long video. Uh, we got Mario Golf on the original uh, Nintendo Game Boy. I played this the other day. It's kind of rough for its age. It didn't age very well. So, there's that. Uh, here's the OG Game Boy Tamagotchi, which I actually have um, technically two copies of it. And in my first video that I posted, I talked about how using the Sharpie method would take out permanent marker. So there used to be a name that said Cody on it, C-O-D-Y, um, right across the center here. Um, but by using sh uh, Sharpie and then the dry erase method, it actually took away like this gray metallic color on the, on the label right here, which is interesting. I didn't think it was going to do that. Um, but I ended up buying this one because of that happening on this one. So this one here is... Um, Technically, obviously, you can tell it's not as white. Um, so I don't know if this will brighten up at all once I clean it, because I haven't cleaned it. If it'll brighten up at all, or if it's going to be, if it got somehow stained or something over time there. I don't think it's going to brighten up, but I'd rather have it look like this than this. <laughs> so I'm pretty much going to be selling this one. Um, it's in my sell pile, essentially. Um, and then we got... Pokemon Puzzle Challenge on the Game Boy Color. Now this game is like a classic. It essentially is like one of the must-have games on the Game Boy Color, essentially. Um, it's also kind of like Tetris Attack, but it's like Pokemon themed. Um, very fun, good game. It's a grindy game. It's like you got it almost feels like endless stages and it gets harder and harder and harder as you keep going um, you fight gym gym uh, people or whatever and then you got one of the more iconic cartridges for the Game Boy Color and it is the Kirby Tilt and Tumble uh, it does have a built-in gyroscope on the board um, this one I played for about 10 minutes and because it has you do like a swooping action to make Kirby like jump, um, when I was doing that, it randomly would make my game like pretty much crash, like restart. So I haven't cleaned it. I didn't clean it before I tried it or anything. And I do see some pins down here are a little dirty. So I'm hoping by just giving a clean, kind of taking a once over the board that will be good so there's that one then we got Mario Golf with something on the cartridge well that's unfortunate a bit hopefully that cleans up a little bit better um, Mario Golf only Game Boy Color needs battery swap needs cleaning um, this one is way better than the OG so when they went from this to this, we're talking like almost night and day difference. Of course, you're, you're talking like a five year gap or more, but um, I don't I have to look up what the gap is between these ones, but it's a substantial gap. Um, so there's that. And then we got Kid Icarus on the Game Boy, the OG Game Boy, not Game Boy Color. Um, just needs cleaning essentially labeled in like really good condition for its age uh, this this cartridge is surprisingly a little expensive compared to most I guess you could say um, at least for what, what it is um, it also has some gunk on it that needs to be cleaned on the back uh, it's an okay game it's like a platformer um, since you're like an angel with a bow, you can like kind of float around and you kill monsters and stuff and collect things. 
Um, it's just kind of a fancy platformer. Now in the Game Boy Color, there is one cartridge I am currently after um, that I've been trying to find, and it's 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 out there, but you know I'm a frugal guy, so I don't like paying an arm and a leg for certain things. And um, I'm trying to find Commander Keen on Game Boy Color. Um, but the cheapest I've been able to find it at really is like thirty plus dollars, and I mean I'd, I'd probably spend twenty on it, but I'm sure I'll get it some way or another eventually here. So that is our stack of essentially six Game Boy slash Game Boy Color cartridges for today. Um, and this was just a double. I gotta. It's in my cell pile cart only of Dream Trigger 3D. Very weird game. Um, very cheap game on the 3DS. It's probably worth like five bucks, if that. Uh, get that over here. So we're gonna not do this one first. Um, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, I think we'll probably do first, mainly because I know it works. I've been actually playing it. <laughs> um, I don't care about my save. I have only played maybe I don't know 20 minutes, 25 minutes of it. Um, it did have a previous owner save on here, but I'd rather just have everything reset to be like my like my high scores and stuff. So that will happen when we take the battery off. Let's move that over here. Let's get this iron heated up. I love how fast this thing heats up. Mm, that one to come off. There we go. Someone did replace this battery though. Um, I don't know how long ago though. So that's why I like to do it myself. So I know it's like brand new, should be good for quite a while. They also did sort of a sloppy job. They definitely did it with like some flux, but like they used probably some crappy flux. And again, since this is a Game Boy Color game, it's got the see-through, the see-through um, casing. We'll take off the yellow plastic band. And again, I just melt the edge of it, and then it comes right off. And then we're gonna go ahead and tin these up. So as you might see, I've redone my solder station a little bit. Um, I got a new mat. This is heat resistant up to 500 degrees Celsius, which is kind of nice. Um, my soldering. Uh, spool is mounted on essentially my camera pole here um, and my magnifying glass now is clamped and secured to also my camera pole coming this way so the only downfall with that is you obviously will see this probably in the frame um, and hopefully it's not really blocking too much um, I just don't want you to really see the magnifying glass because the magnifying glass should be kind of off camera 
because you're not really needing to see that. Um, but it works for the most part. This I'm sure. I was gonna say it was like kind of like sunken city ish. I think this song reminds me of like Sonic. All right. That one teamed up there. This is amazing. Let's put this guy. I get that position where I want it. There we go. That's better. Should have been a flux here. Eh, I don't know. I don't like how it's not. I'm not getting on this tab enough. There we go. Much better. Perfection. All right. Now it's just really a matter of cleaning it again. Actually cleaning it up. Dump it right on there. Oh yeah, that's that's a lot better looking. Said, get this to shine up a little bit more. So I've been doing a little different from my last one video on cleaning like the edges or around the label just to make sure I don't accidentally get it with any IPA. I've been using some just cotton swabs to get the edges.
Mm, not too bad on that one. It wasn't dirty really to begin with on that one. Um, but then, yep, just some regular water. Some regular water on the label. Come on. Soak it up. Alright. Got a little better, not much. That's about as good as that's going to get. The most important thing on these guys is getting into the grooves of the Nintendo logo and then into the actual screw mounting hole there because there's like dirt and dust and stuff that collects usually in there and then just generally hitting your sides nothing too crazy looks like this one did get a little nick but it's very unnoticeable really unless you're looking at it all right let's get this dried up inside here make sure it shines up clean this song is called cherry coke Alright. Let me make sure I get these pins. These pins fully shined up. Almost forgot. I usually just take my cheesecloth towel and just rub, 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 and shine them up. Should shine right up. Looks good to me. All right. And the screw. I did get a new game bit. It's a little bit nicer. Um, pretty much, you have your like Game Boy, your NES um, screws, and then on this side you have like your Sega Genesis, um, Sega Master System um, bits. So that way you can get like my Taz, my Taz will use this one on the back. And then say for my N64, same as this guy. And then did have this guy, this comes with the, the Y, which is the, I don't know, I have one over here. 
Uh, mainly for your Game Boy Advance games. So, and other... Um, some other Nintendo hardware will sometimes have Y screws. That guy's done. Right, we can go ahead and um, make sure it does work. In one second. Playing Warrior Land 3. Boom. Right in. It's Chicarita. Let's do one round real quick. All right, there we have it. Dang, I lost. I must train harder. Okay, Faulkner. That was an amazing match. Won't you battle me? All right. Back. And then... 
we'll just make sure that my continue is still there because that will prove that the battery works which I am not doubting that, that it won't and there it is alright Pokemon puzzle challenge is complete not bad All right, what we got next on the docket here? Um, just because I want to get into it, we're going to go with Kirby Tilt and Tumble. So this is one of the only cartridges other than your Pokemon Silver, Pokemon Gold, um, any random um, black cartridges, and then Pokemon Crystal, and obviously Kirby Tilt and Tumble, and then your Pinball, Pokemon Pinball, and like one other... I think another pinball game that have like pretty much special design carts otherwise every other Game Boy Color game is is gonna be you know your regular your regular see-through cart like this so it's cool that they they gave the Kirby this Kirby game some uniqueness I mean it literally it even has two two screws compared to all the other ones only have one So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open. Now I've never been into this cartridge, this cartridge at all. Like I've never even. I know it's white, which is also different on the inside. So it's white, but yeah, this pin right here is like super dirty, and this pin over here is super dirty. But um, there is. You know, to be honest with you, I don't know how it does its gyro detection. I'm guessing it's this chip here, because it's the only, like, major difference. I swore this thing when I was a kid or something, I thought I was looking in here and it had, like, some kind of, like, a... Like a ball bearing or something that actually moved in a tube back and forth detecting... But maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, either way, case is a little dirty on the inside and outside. Get some of that schmutz off, get it shined up a bit. And, uh, yeah, we'll pretty much just do a basic basic cleaning on this guy. There's no battery, so just need to really clean it. Get these pins real good. And just light, light pressure. Don't want to overdo it on the board. You don't want to knock any resistors off or anything like that. Of course, if you technically do, though, that's a sign of uh, you know poor solder joint, probably. Then though. Alright, yeah, this one won't take long at all because I'm pretty sure it just needs a generic clean here. Oh, as I fling it practically across the table here. Do these pins look like now? Uh, 
That one still has got a kind of like a spot on it. I wonder. Hopefully. So I got some melanin foam. Essentially, magic eraser. It is slightly abrasive. Some downward motions here. falling apart. Yeah, I don't know if that even got it. I might have to look at it, my pick on this one real quick. Just cause I feel like that should be able to come off hopefully. Oh, that's probably gonna move the camera. Yeah, that might come off. good it did come off a little bit but it is kind of like a small mark on the board but it should be better now Just got that move this over here This is going to shine up a decent amount, uh, at least in person, because um, it, it did have a decent amount of, like, kind of grime dirt particles and stuff on the inside of this thing. This cartridge is not cheap, though. They run around about $50, $55, um, and that's if you can find a decent, like, labeled condition one, um, otherwise, yeah, around 60, 60, 65, and then potentially plus shipping, so you're looking at, you know, $70 plus, uh, there was a, there was a time, like, like, during the, the pandemic stuff going on, you know, 2020, 2021, where this game actually reached, um, I think it was $110 at one point. Um, these people were just like crazy, crazy nostalgic for it. I mean, it is like kind of like a one of a kind. They don't, they didn't really remake this. Like, they, they, what they need to do is actually, um, I think they might have it. I'm not sure, um, but they need to make, um, was it Banana, Banana Blitz or Monkey, Monkey, Super Monkey Ball? I think Super Monkey Ball kind of has, this, has some of this same stuff on the uh, Game Boy Color. Alright. Well, that definitely did shine up. Definitely did. Should just get my shot glass again. But this seems to be working okay too. I just need a little IPA.
Mm, yeah, I just... When I do the brush method, again, it's just kind of hitting the edges downward. And then come across the front and just make sure you're not hitting that label really in any way. Especially make sure your brush is dry. Like, that's pretty dry, so I'm not too worried. Q-tip. I just put water on it. is I'm going to get that one. Nice and clean. And then we'll see if it does what it was doing when I was trying to play it the other day. We'll obviously test it out. Oop. Come on, we'll get in there. Super nice. So I got this game with another uh, another two other games um, as like a, a three game lot. So for me, I technically paid technically paid like thirty one bucks for this, which I felt was a pretty good deal for label condition and for how a single cart usually, you know, usually is selling for, so. Yeah, I love them auctions that people just, like, fail to pay attention to. So. Go back in here. Hold your Game Boy flat and then press A. So, pretty much flat. Do 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 do. It's Kirby. Tilt and tumble, bruh. All right, we're gonna start the second one here. Just because it was definitely doing it during this this part. hard enough so when I was doing this before it reset the game so it's definitely I think it's definitely okay now
Oh, well, come on, get on there. Kirby Tilt and Tumble is working. I'm saving. Level 1 2. Alright. And it is there. Close that off. And we are done with the Kirby and Tilt and Tumbles. Next on the docket, we'll just do. I'm just gonna do the Game Boy Color games pretty much first, and we'll leave the other ones for later. Let's get that off to the side. Mario Golf. Now, this one, you know, actually, I haven't tested this one at all. Oh, look at that. Nintendo logo's all. Jarbly juked and game doesn't load. Still all garbly gooked. Okay, so there actually could be an issue with this one, but it could just be an easy clean, so. Um. Here's what I'm going to do first, too, though. I'm going to clean it. Yeah, the pins are pretty dirty. Pretty dirty. I'm gonna click. I want to see if there's a save on it, just to see. Like if it, because if if there's a save that has like a lot of time on it, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll, I'll show you my cart. I have a backup flasher, which not a lot of people have. See if just doing that is gonna make this thing read. pins do, 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 do. I want to try this golf falls in love with the sport I don't know about that I mean it's it's okay but for some golf is a way of life their dream oh I missed what that said hey look it's Mario Mario Nineteen ninety nine. Let's see, it looks like there is oh, there's a hole in one on here. This is someone's hole in one right here. Blurp, blurp. <laughs> 162 yard hole in one. A lot of eagles. No albatrosses. Hmm. Back status. Yeah, level 15. You know, might as well just back it up just for funsies. So I'll show you that. This is a little device right here 
called the Portable Card Flasher by Funny Playing. Um, and essentially, it's kind of like a Game Boy. I mean, you got your Game Boy. You can do advanced and color and regular Game Boy cartridges in this. So you take your cart. Go this way. Take your cart. Pop her in there. And then there's some buttons here. Um, I know for Game Boy Color, it has to be all the way up. Um, for Advance, you have to kind of like just push it kind of in the middle. So if we just switch her all the way up, you're going to see it says Game Boy Color, Portable Cart Flasher, hit Enter, or hit A. It's going to give you the name, so it's Mario G-O-L, Mario Golf. It is an MBC5 uh, mapper. 2 megabytes in size, 128 banks. It's got 8K uh, kilobytes of RAM. Um, so, it gives you kind of the info, obviously. We'll hit A again. So, we're going to read the ROM. So what that's going to do is essentially take the ROM from the chip and it's saving it to my micro SD card over here. So essentially I have a full blown backup of the game, of the actual ROM. So that's done, it's going to calculate the checksum, make sure that it matches and that's good. It's essentially saying hey is my data good. We'll hit OK. I'm going to go back in here. We're going to read the save. It's going to be asking where I want to save that to. It's going to save it in GB slash save slash Mario GOL slash one as it's the first save. I'm going to hit OK. It's, it does it like instantly. So it's, it's, already, it's already done. I'm going to do right save again. Um, right save would be if I'm going from my micro SD card to the cart. So if I went into GBA, um, save, I got some Pokemon Zelda, Super Mario, Pokemon Crystal. Um, if I go down all the way to Mario GOL, select save one. So that's showing me that it's at least there, right? So I can just, I'm going to, I'm going to back out because I don't, I don't need to write it. It's already on there. But essentially we're done because we already backed up the ROM, we backed up the save, I can close it out, take it out, this guy will put off to the side, but now that that's done, um, I can go through, and I'll show you this too, and we'll go ahead and desolder the battery. And put a new one on and then that's gonna kill the save like the save will be gone um, and then I'll be able to put the save back on with the, that cart flasher which is really cool and if I really wanted to I could show you this too if I really wanted to <laughs> I could take like say something like a crappy Pokemon gold cart take the ROM from here put this cart in the flasher and actually put the ROM chip in here as long as the board is the same so like the, if as long as the board is an MC5 or an MC2 or an MC1 um, there's different board types because of like the different chips and stuff they have on them but as long as it's like the same board you can pretty much flash any any ROM onto it which is kind of funny in a way so I'm going to go ahead and we'll get this guy replaced. We'll try and do this kind of quick so that way I can show you more of the the ROM stuff. Um, there they are. I was like, they dropped it. Where'd they go? Oh. All right, get that tuned up. Put that back on. Don't have any music playing from the game. Ugh. New battery.
See if this can clean up um, decently here or not. Shined up a bit, but there's a spot. No, well, that's gonna, that's not coming off. Tell me that's already damaged on the label, so. Oh well, it's an old game. Can't be perfect.
All right. So, right now, there should be no save on this cartridge. Because when you take the battery out, or if the battery dies, your save essentially becomes poof, gone to the wind. Is no more. Very clean, about as clean as it's gonna get. So now we'll show you. This should have no hole in one anymore, should have no game save. Let's see. So if we go to status, no data, best shots, all empty. Let's go ahead and close that out. And now Put back in this guy. Let it loot its thing. So we're going to write save. GB. Save. I'm going to go all the way down to Mario Golf. One. Select the save. Verified OK. Hit OK. Back, back, back and off. And now that save should be on here. And that's how quick that is. Because it's just like, you know, it's like two kilobytes. If we go in here again. Status, status, look at that. Three golfers, best shots. Hey look, there's that, there's that hole in one. Yep. All with that that cart flasher. All right. Well, we know that one's good. So, so far in this video, or at least in the segments that you might have seen here, we've gone through four carts essentially. Done Pokemon Puzzle Challenge Battery Replacement. Well, never mind. Three carts. We didn't do Wario Land 3. So, Pokemon Puzzle Challenge, Mario Golf, and Kirby Tilt and Tumble. Three heavier hitters of the uh, the era of Game Boy Color. Um, but at that, I think we'll go ahead and end it there. It's already a pretty long video. I don't know if I'll chop it up or not. I, I said at the beginning that I might chop it up, but I might just do I might just do one long video. So you all have a good one. We'll see you in the next one.